Eid Mubarak Kareem. Eid Mubarak Kareem. <laughs> We're trekking pals Habiba and Alex. And for the last few weeks, we have been calling Alaska home, working from our little tiny Airbnb during the week and hitting the hiking trails during the weekends, exploring the last frontier, challenging ourselves, learning, and appreciating the opportunity to escape the heat of the desert. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is the Eid celebration. So Eid Mubarak Kareem for those who celebrate and for those who don't know, this is the Eid Al-Adha celebration. A celebration for all Muslims around the world in the memory of Prophet Abraham and his son. And so since we are in beautiful Alaska, we're not gonna be celebrating as I'm used to back home, but instead we're taking the day off here to enjoy the beauty of the state. Just take it easy and have a fun exploring day here near Anchorage. So we slept in very late and so about around 2 p.m. we made it to a breakfast place just to get enough energy to get going. And the plan was to make it to Alieska but then the traffic was really bad. So it took us a long time to attempt to get there. And so halfway or even less than halfway, we kind of decided that it's not really worth it. We don't want our day off to be spent uh, in traffic, really bad traffic. And so we are here at uh, Raspberry Park, a nice little park near where we, we are staying for the time being. And so we're going for a nice short hike under the rain in this beautiful park. Let's go. So it seems like from the signs, this is a loop or a route that uh, people snowshoe on or cross country ski on in winter. And really, I'm sure that it makes for a beautiful uh, cross country skiing. So we're up here and we are apparently following the one way portions of the trail the wrong way. So we're, we're bad patrons right now, but we're gonna go a little bit more the wrong way, I think now that we've realized that. And then we'll go the correct way around this other loop past the lake and then back to where we started at the parking lot. So we'll stop going the wrong way here in a moment. doctor told me that I'm allergic to fireweed and I was like well let me look up what fireweed is. Surely it's red like fire. <laughs> it <laughs> seems like it's, it's these pretty flowers that I've been photographing right. for a long time now. Please don't walk or push your bike back up the jumps. Always walk to the side. Well, obviously these are agreements for bike riding, not for hikers and walkers. But yeah, it's good to let people know what skill set they need, how to stay safe, and all the good stuff. Ready? I actually have no idea which way we're supposed to go. I think we go that way, actually. Cool. That way we go. All right. The bugs are savage here. I mean, even when we were running in the other parks. So definitely if you are visiting Alaska and you plan on doing some city exploring in the city parks, and even in the wilderness, make sure that you have bug spray or at least cover your skin. Oh, there's a helicopter. Can't see it. Oh, they're eating me alive. God. Nothing. So we're coming closer to a lake called Little Campbell Lake. And yeah, we're not really following a trail to be honest. There are a bunch of trails here, so we're just making it as we go. That's always fun.
So this is the closest we got to the lake. It's right there. But these bugs, they're not making us stay long. How are you like, doing? Not bad. I feel like a horse with my hat. Beating you yourself? Bugs on your arm. They're like, I'm going to eat her through her shirt. Fuck this horse. What? Got him. <laughs> There's four oh on your head, God. five, six on your head, <sighs> two on your neck. Oh my goodness. They're stuck in your hair. They're everywhere. It's on. Stinker. I feel violated. <laughs> I feel like they've just taken what they want from me and the left is mine to have. There, there was like a big cloud just ah. following Alex all the way. I'm wearing my like warmer or my colder weather hat. So with the rain, I was sweating like a pig under that. It's a little insulated. Wow, this view of downtown is nice. Nice parking lot. Thanks. You should go see the park upstairs. We're gonna go for a stroll in downtown Anchorage. Maybe check out the mall, get something to eat, snack, and show you around. So let's go. Check this uh, unique Alaskan gift shop. All right, nice little bare seat. Barely seat. Barely. Barely seat. So we usually don't do a lot of uh, souvenir shopping. We usually get uh, postcards, send them to our moms, and sometimes we'll get uh, magnets for the fridge, but not a lot. But this store is really beautiful. There are so many cool things, and we're just thinking about every single person we know, every family member, just, oh, I could send this to this person, and this to this person, and then there'll be a lot of things. And, but yeah, just a lot of beautiful, unique uh, souvenirs. We can see the, the port from here and it seems like we can drive to the port of Anchorage. Uh, we're not very sure if we can get in, but we'll give it a try. Look at that! There are so many walls with the nice uh, paintings. Murals. 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 
more murals. So apparently the port is now open to the public but however the guy right here at the checkpoint he directed us to a dock and the dock is open to the public apparently and so we're gonna go check it out. He also led us 20 feet into the port because he's a gentleman. Yeah, just to make a U-turn. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It seems like this was a strategic spot to trap fish and this is one technique that the uh, natives or I would say the people who inhabited the area used to follow in order for them to trap fish during the spring and summer seasons. Uh, the other time we were in Seward, I realized that these poles with the white marks over there, so the dock floats, the dock over there floats up and down depending on uh, whether the tide is low or high. So really, if you come back here when the tide is high, you probably won't see much of the pole uh, sticking there because the dock will just float up. I come from a family of fishermen and so every time I go to a fishing port or just by the water and seagulls and fish, it just makes me so happy inside. Well, it's about time for us to go and get some food. I already placed our order and the restaurant is going to close in about 30 minutes, so we will have to get going. Turkish delight. We really like this restaurant and we ate here I think twice since we got to Alaska and during our stay in Anchorage and we're getting uh, food from them for the third time and because it's Saeed I'd like me some uh, good meat and I already tried their lamb chops and they were so good so that's exactly what I ordered again. Oh ho ho food is coming. Thank you boo. Thank you guys for watching although I know that this was not a hiking adventure but really enjoyed bringing you with me in a normal typical day where I try to celebrate it to the best that I can and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for weekly vlogs about hiking and backpacking your trekking paths Habiba and Alex and we'll see you soon on a new adventure bye